Hello beautiful people, it's Burala Olalikon here and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. From protests to prayer walks happening simultaneously all over the nation, one would have thought it would happen overnight. We imagined we would wake up the next morning and Nigeria would be new. Really, like, while I was praying for Nigeria, praying on my own, praying with groups, joining prayer meetings, prayer walks, I had this picture or let me say this movie in my head of how these corrupt leaders would be wiped away from the face of earth or maybe they would sleep and die in their sleep or they would not wake up or like the sun will set everywhere else it will be night everywhere else and over the wicked over the wicked leaders I mean wicked rulers <laughs> the sun will never cease and they would have sleepless nights I just had so many scenarios so things I wanted God to do about the wicked and how God was going to uproot these people and place angels and place different new better people in the system I had everything figured out in my head and then the lucky massacre happened and I was like I felt really drained I felt like all the prayers after all the prayers like How did this even happen? Like, God, you should have done this, you should have done that. God, you should have prevented this. I just had so many questions. I felt, I felt, everybody felt bad. But then the next day, that was on the 21st of October, I felt weak. I could not pray again. I, I, I really can't do this. Like, I can't do this. How can we be praying sleepless nights, praying for the nation, and then this happens? And thank God for a healthy community of people that were able to bring me back up to my feet, encourage me, and pray for me. Shout out to Pastor Timmy. Thank you. <laughs> that really helped. I felt so much better. I felt the peace of the Holy Spirit come upon me. And in this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you how I've been able to navigate get through that season of hopelessness of not being able to pray and when you feel like you're praying and what you're praying for and it doesn't seem like your prayers are being answered even though they are like it doesn't seem like that so i believe the things i'll be sharing will help you in your season where you feel like your prayers are not being answered or you're having trouble praying so the first thing i learned is god is good god is god and he is good Regardless of the situation around, regardless of where we find ourselves, regardless of what is happening around us, what we can see with our physical eyes, God remains good. Like, He is good. And thank God for people around that reminded me of that because there are certain things that happen, there are certain tra tragedies that happen at people's life and then we, we start to question God's goodness. If God is a good God, He won't let this thing happen and blah, 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 my friend. God is good. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He remains faithful. And I feel like having the word of God that reminds us of that is really powerful. Look at Paul and Silas. Look at Peter. Look at the apostles in those days where they were faced with trials. They were faced with even to the point of death. They still praise God. They still worship God because they know that he is above that situation they were in. So yeah, go through the Bible and read things like that that will remind you of God's goodness. Next thing I learned is we are God's servants and not the other way around. So yeah, we belong to God. And let me make it, let me make it clear. So I had this movie in my head. I had the list of things that I wanted God to do. Is that the way it's supposed to be? God sent me here on earth to do his will. And then I'm here commanding him to do things that I want him to do. Yes, fine. It's okay to ask. But it, all, it doesn't always go as planned. It's best we align our prayers into God's will. Prayer should not be seen as a means of getting God to do our will on earth, but rather as a means of getting God's will done on earth. So when we pray, we know that we are praying God's will on the earth. The Lord's Prayer, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we are praying for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. So we are not just praying that our will be done. So it doesn't always go our way. But we, but we rest knowing that whatever God is doing, whatever God's will is, is for the favor of his people it's going to benefit his people so i trust that god's will will benefit me and the people around me so i don't need to worry about how is god going to do it i just know that he's going to do it what i have to do is to stay in prayer and pray that god's will be done on earth oh don't go into prayer bossing god around telling him do this do this do this but it's okay to make requests so when we pray we should pray out god's will and not just our will another thing i learned guys is that the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy and when we are praying God's will on earth, it, 
he's looking around looking for who to devour he doesn't just sit down fold it fold his arms and allow you pray out god's will on earth he doesn't want god's will to be done on earth so he looks around so he's is around looking for whom to devour so things doesn't always go as expected when we have that understanding that the devil doesn't want us doesn't want god's will to be done please pray harder pray i like you pray <laughs> really pray other he's not going to like sit down and allow god's will to be done but we are rest assured that god's will will surely be done no matter what he's going to try he is really going to try but we are you are you going to relent are you going to fold your arms and just look around and what will be will be it is well oh no oh no we are god's hands and feet on this earth so stand your ground as heirs of the kingdom of god proclaiming the will of god over this earth okay and yeah, there are times where things doesn't really go our way. And when it seems like our prayers are not being an are not being answered or after everything, like after trying everything, it still isn't working. Like this thing I'm praying, I'm trusting God for this thing I'm praying for is not working or it doesn't seem like it. Go back to God. Mm -hmm. Go back to the creator of the universe. God, your word says this and this. You promised me this and this. And I know that your word never returns void. Every word you have said will come to pass. So I trust you. And God, I feel this way. I feel like you're not doing anything. It's okay to feel that way. We are human. But go back to the Father. Go back to the food of the Father. Feet of the Father. Go back to Christ Jesus. Take all your worries. Take all your anxieties. Take everything to Him. It's okay to feel a certain way. It's okay to feel sad. Tell Him, God, I feel this way. Do something about it. I trust that you can do something about it. Please do something about me. About it. Like, just go back to Him. Go back to the Father. Run back to Him. He is wide. Like, His wisdom is far above our wisdom. So, the best thing to do in situations like that is to go back to Him. Abide in Him and let Him abide in, in you. Let His will abide in your will. Like, you know? And yeah, there are times where we feel powerless. We feel like it's what we see with these eyes it doesn't seem like our prayers are being answered or it just feels certain way if you feel this way then ask god to open your eyes to see what he is doing push push yeah push <laughs> pray on pray until something happens and then i just keep remembering the parable that god told the apostles in luke 8 verse luke 18 verse 1 to 8 let me read it for you guys hey <laughs> hey don't skip don't skip stay with me stay with me the parable of the persistent widow then jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up pray and not give up even even when it doesn't seem like it keep praying guys your prayer is your prayer is so powerful i'll still go back to that he said in a certain town there was a judge who neither feared god nor cared about men and there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea grant me justice against my adversary <laughs> that's like my prayer right now god grant nigeria justice against its adversary like those people who have died please grant them justice lord jesus for some time he refused but finally he said to himself even though i don't fear god or care about men yet because this widow keeps bothering me i will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming and the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Who cries out to him day and night? Not once in a week, not once in a month, not once in a year, not on October 1st, not on 31st of December, not on 1st of November, not once in a blue moon, day and night. Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Oh, thank you, Jesus. However, when the Son of Man comes, he will find faith on the earth. This is powerful, guys. I feel like you should just go back to Luke 18, verse 1 to 8 and meditate on that word. Like, meditate on it and let the Holy Spirit release himself on you and release and give you revelation don't give room to hopelessness don't let the seed of hopelessness that the enemy is trying to plant grow let the word of god use the word of god to renew your mind and keep on praying guys your prayer your prayer is so powerful your prayer is so so powerful there was a time when i didn't feel like praying and then the holy spirit reminded me of elijah and how the prayer of one man since the economy basically when he prayed rain wasn't going to fall he made sure rain did not fall so he did not just pray that prayer once and stop 
he kept on praying so go back to the story of elijah learn from that man men learn from him thank you guys for watching to the end i just quickly want to say a prayer lord we thank you for lord we thank you for everything that is happening around and even though it doesn't seem the way we want it to seem we know that you are actively working we know that you're a good father and you love us so much you know that yes you are doing a great and mighty things in nigeria so lord we ask for grace to look up to you no matter what we ask for grace to stay in your presence and to pray without ceasing in jesus name amen so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you so so much for watching and drop your comments in the comment section of how you've been able to pray through our times when you felt hopeless or felt like your prayers are not being answered, what you've done, what you what has helped you and what you feel might help others. So let me know. <clears throat> let us have a chat in the comment section if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like subscribe if you are not yet subscribed click on the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video comes up and share share the word share my previous video share share my videos guys share like if you feel it's worth sharing share it and let someone learn something so bye guys